Welcome to a full wipe story of a solo player in the best frat hole on ARK and obviously I had to defend that countless times. I also get into a huge amount of PvP from early game to late game. Oh and let me not forget about the huge amount of raiding in this one from rat holes to hidden locations to even broken locations. Also, let me not forget about the sharp turn this video takes about halfway through, but I'll let you guys find that one out. Anyway, sit back, relax, enjoy it. Let's see if we can smash 700 likes. So here was my wipe plan for the first hour or two of the wipe, and I originally weren't really going to go for this rat hole, but I just thought I may as well try it. It's literally the best rat hole in the game, and if I can claim it, I can claim it. If not, it's all good. And this is where the story begins. What's in this red drop, bro? If only I got like a tech foundy, that'd be so huge. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> no way, I didn't actually want to build in here, that's the thing. Like, I I was going to take another spot, but this spot is just broken. I can't, I've just claimed it. I can't just not go for it now, you know what I mean? Bro. Let's go, I actually got it. I thought I'd stop. Actually, I've been I got over here in three minutes. That's not actually that slow. I'm gonna spam this off ridiculous. And um So I got the few first foundations down at the location, which was so huge. Now I'm just going around farming mass resources and then I'm gonna put my starter base inside the rat hole, which is probably not the best idea to do, but I'm just gonna do it anyway, so let's do it. Oh, that actually worked out perfect. Level 20, but I need to get around the map. Wait, right, Stalker's banned day one? Or is it lagging? Nah, it's lagging. That scared me then. I was like, it's not taming. But, yeah, Stalker's... Oh, I'm not banned day one. That's good. Right, I need to stick this straight in my upload because this gets hit by literally anything is dead. Um, I need to do stuff really quick right now because someone just destroyed, destroyed the first stone foundation. That was inside of the... So as I knew, it would get contested heavily, and I was right. There was already two people outside, and they had foundations pretty near to the crouch. But lucky enough, I did have resources inside now, so that would be enough to get the first few metal foundations in. So that is good. Don't think they should be at the game. Ah, oh, no way! I've just, ah, no way. I'm gone. Oh. I need to get a metal foundry right now. I don't think they'll be my body. Oh my God. They couldn't even get my body. Metal foundry for the dub. Literally, I think I've trapped him in too. Yeah, I've trapped him in the metal foundry. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's funny. So I now had to get resources and I had to get them fast. Really, the only thing that I needed was polymer and electronics. So I came over to Crystal Wales and I was going to get black poles and all the resources that I would need. What is this stalker doing? Yo. Right, that should be enough polymer for now. I've got polymer, black poles, all of the stuff that is really needed. Um, now I need, what do I need now? Oh, level 100 and electronics. So that's the hard part. I don't think there's enforcers either. Oh. I'm still on strings, bro. Where's the strings? But yeah, but now. I'm not expecting a swarm back. Bro, I'm just like, bro, how he just survived that nearly. Oh, 400 and something electronics. That's huge. I mean, I didn't get his May Wing, but that alone is huge. Um, let me, uh, what level am I? Mm, not quite level 100, but 
So me killing that guy was actually kind of huge. I got a few cryopods and some electronics. Now I'm going to come over to extinction, get level 100 and get even more electronics. The only problem is enforcers were actually banned on this server. So I had to kill defense units, which is a bit annoying. Level 10 defense unit. This should go down like instantly. I pump melee on this and HP. Right. We've literally got so much electronics like 1.2k. This same guy doing what I'm doing. Yep, yeah, uh, so we've got 1.2k, all the resources that we need. We literally just hope uh, we haven't been raided, which is very possible. I mean, I think I've been gone like 20 minutes. Uh, so they could have got C4 in that time, blown the foundations and gate. Um, but yeah, I'm going to go transfer in a second. And hopefully we haven't been raided and I can get these heavies up because I'll have enough metal to get like two heavies up. And honestly, once we got two heavies up, it's very hard to do much. This was right. So I'm just in uh, general chat, and this guy said, "There's a cheating tribe in my spot." I was like, "What spot are you in?" And then he said, "The rat hole, auto tech punching." Apparently, that that uh, what I'm doing. <laughs> that actually makes me laugh. Um, but yeah, I'm just waiting for the Genesis to come back up because it's actually down right now, which. Could have worked in our advantage there we go we've got the two turrets up uh obviously need to get these heavily bulleted because people are just a new body soak them if not so i'm gonna need to get at least 500 before i can get out of base again uh but we're actually doing very very well i don't know if that's where you put the generator i feel like it's like further back i don't know and constantly there were people over in my rat hole camping at entrance so it is very hard to leave He's gonna die. He has to die. No way that guy's not die. That he he can literally not get shot. Yeah, he's getting shot. There we go. That's good. Right, I literally can't get out of my rat hole right now. <laughs> it's not fun at all, to be honest. But and i bet you can hear them fireworks too they're actually so loud right now it's firework night or whatever you want to call it and um i currently can't hear a thing really so i crafted myself up a mining drill and i went to grind mode and farmed so many resources that i need obviously flint stone obviously for spark powder and cementing paste so that was good so i came over to gem one to do even more farming and i was just listening to some music you know just chilling and then this happened Okay, I was just vibing for to some music and that happens. Uh, I lost like a kit basically, but it wasn't really kit. I can literally go back to base and get the same thing. That's a bit of a rip. There's a guy chilling on a rhino here. I can't actually believe that. That's crazy. This early on into white. So I was just farming some electronics because obviously I'd need that for more turrets and then an announcement came up saying server shutdown. So I went to the nearest terminal uh, to transfer off at and this happened. Three Rex is after me. Bro. I don't even have time to look how long left. I just need to transfer off. Come on, come on. The servers are going down until Nachado fixes whatever's going wrong with them. But, I don't know. It's weird. Right, so, last clip you saw me kill someone just before the servers went down. And they had two tracks on them. And that's literally all I needed. I don't know if these are good stack tracks or what. But, they will do me nicely for now. Uh, I'm going to go back over there and get loads of electronics, probably. Um... I just need to... How much metal have we got in here? 71. Yeah, that's not too bad. We're actually making some good progression right now. Like, it's actually looking pretty good. Um, just when I thought it was going all so well, someone actually had placed heavy turrets outside of my base. So I need to somehow destroy them with prone flak. You know, we'll give it a go, see what happens. Ah... Uh,
There we go. Now I need to go kill that Spino. If I don't, it's not looking good. Right, where have they actually got foundations here? Right, this is what's stopping on top of the cave. These two foundations here. So if I get rid of them, I can spam on top. Which I need spam on top. Yeah, it was pretty clear to see that I would need a ton of spam because I don't want people putting turrets outside my base every two minutes. There we go. We can get some foundation support outside now. That's what we needed. It's a bit rough when you don't have foundies outside your own cave, uh, your own rat hole. Now we do. Bro, he broke my helmet straight away. I was acting a bit. And just when I thought I lost him, and I'm pretty sure this guy was botting, this happened. He's hitting helmets! Let me know in the comments if you do think that guy was botting. Anyway, now we literally just had constant people outside of our base, and it sort of slowed down the progress a little bit, but I wasn't too bothered by them. They can't really get in. I've got a good amount of turrets now. I had the Fabio on him. Nice. Haven't LB'd him. His mate's out here somewhere. I don't know where though. But yeah, at least I got a nice fabby from him. It wasn't the guy who killed me before unless he's deep out of loot. Wait, I can actually see if it was the guy who killed me before, was it? No, it wasn't. I knew it wasn't. Just went on a fatty farm up. Uh, all the resources that I need. So electronics we've got in there. Flint, metal, poly, oil, stone. And I also need to get some hide. Uh, so that is what I'm going to probably get now and then transfer back. Hopefully we haven't been raided. I mean, we've only been off serve for 20 minutes. But my uh, my spot seems so contested, it's unreal. Um, so yeah. So drops on the server were pretty decent. So I decided to come over to Val and farm a few. And hopefully I'll get a shotgun or maybe a shotgun blueprint. And I could complete center boss fight. Please. Oh, let's go. 216 shorty. I can do boss now. Um, oh, should I continue farming drops? I do not know. I mean, there's no good drops around. They're just all blue drops. So, probably should just go do boss for that. My plan is to go do boss, craft the replicator, uh, place the replicator down, craft the transmitter and generator. And because on this server there's no Ellie drain, I can literally put one element in a tech gen and it will last the whole entire wipe so if i got a tech gen that's good um so yeah legs are gone that's where his base is up here all right my fabby skills are so bad it's unbelievable so I had found my neighbours and to be fair they did actually have a few turrets, they had two heavy turrets and I sort of needed to wipe these no matter what, I wasn't too concerned about what loot I'd get, I just needed to get rid of them before they tried to push my rat hole. See how Prim Saddle didn't soak great did it? It's fine. Alright, there we go. I should be able to get that. If it lets me whip out my... Like, I don't understand what's happening here. I'm desynced. Don't know how, but I'm desynced. 
So I was just going to keep running their turrets with Prim Flak and a rocket launcher and a rocket and eventually I will get all their turrets and they should be raided. So let's do it. And it did two more of that and then most turrets are down. I killed him too. It's good. I definitely broke one heavy there. Definitely did. Bro. Oh my god, I got a good tree. How good is that tree? Oh, it's actually a good tree. Come on, Em. Uh, let's let's depot that shorty and get some more flak, and we can easily do this. Ah, oh, the gate shot me through the gate, bro. Through the gate. I cannot believe that. I actually cannot believe that. And as you can see from all my green beams, which are dead bodies, I was struggling raiding a free heavy turret base with Prim Flak. But that's the struggles of early game for you. Yeah, they've definitely LB'd everything and ran. Oh, that, that's so annoying, bro. Like, I didn't waste nothing really on the raid. It was more or less just annoying because doing all of that then getting no loot from it like uh, wait ah oh, nah no. yeah literally nothing so they got my kit they probably profited more than me but to be honest i did have to get rid of them they weren't my neighbors at the end of the day i mean you weren't really gonna get anything out of this i don't know oh well Right boys, I'm about to log off. It is currently two, 8 past 2 in the morning and I'm going to get 4 or 5 hours sleep and hop straight back on because that's what I normally do on wipe days uh, if I don't have anything pa planned for the next day. Anyway, uh, we've got 21 heavies in total and they've all got 1000 bullets in. As you can see, literally I've made sure every single turret here has 1000 bullets and they're all on different settings these ones are on uh tames and only survivors so i had to put a little bit more in uh but yeah um resource wise we're looking pretty good but we're just making up loads of veggie cakes right now uh because tomorrow morning when i get on i want to run boss fight and then look for a couple of raids because uh yeah we're gonna get a lot of loot from raiding i can tell you that now we've got a bit of metal smelting up whilst we're offline uh I'm so happy we got these trikes, like they're actually really good trikes, like 49 points into HP I believe, uh, so yeah, pretty insane, a very good day of uh, work, literally this, this has been so contested, this location has just been constant people coming, um, so yeah. We all know this feeling when you're logging on in the next day of the wipe and you're just wondering if you have been raided or not and suddenly this happens. There we go. Perfect. We didn't get raided. Let's go. Straight away. Break these up. Get an egg. Pop that. Uh, has anything actually happened? I think this is the same guy that was here before. Uh, yeah, they haven't even destroyed the vaults. Perfect. I literally got five hours sleep. I don't think I've ever slept that little to play Ark. It's a bit sad, but I need to get the grind going today. And that is exactly what I'm going to be doing. Also, I made up a ton of veggie cakes and obviously got to try it. Uh, and I'm going to go and raid someone hopefully soon. 300 more veggie cakes there. Uh, these weren't all fit in the fridge, I doubt. A lot of all, though. So I had a little list to do, and that involved getting tech tier. So I came over to the centre to do the centre boss fight, 
and this sort of happened. But once I got tech tier, I'd be pretty much unraidable unless someone tried to mesh me. I guess you'll see if that happens in a later episode. But let's get this boss fight done here. Bro, I must I must be tripping or something because I can't get over this rock right now. Hello? So I spent the next 5 minutes trying to figure out what was happening but I later on found out after the boss fight it's because I had tech boots on I literally couldn't get into the location to do the boss fight so I literally fouled it because I weren't aware of I had to have no tech boots on I'm pretty sure I don't get killed if I log out in the boss fight I'm fingers crossed no, you can't. Oh my god. Because the mesh was that. I couldn't have got up any other way. No way. That's so annoying. So I took the L there. Lucky enough, my friends that I was chilling in a VC with were basically contesting for Alpha and they were making some fatty progress. So I bring some resources over to them and they were going to craft me a replicator, a transmitter and a generator. So at least I could get the basic stuff up. I would still have to do the boss fight for the tech turret and that engram. My boy's fatty flexing on me with all these uh, resources, eh? Here you go. Right. Yes. Not even day um, one, dude. So starting this one off with a little bit of farming, I had to get some silica pearls. And whilst I was over here, I saw someone fly over me. So I'm going to go PvP them and see if I can gain some loot from him. Okay. I just missed the easiest bowl of my life. Then decided to hit. It happens. Then decide to hit like that harder bowler. I can. Uh, just white drops already. So I was scouting around Crystal Wells and I found a pretty hidden base that was actually kind of fat considering it was about 12 hours into wipe. So I'm going to bring some stuff over here to raid this base and hopefully we'll get him. I got, I got one C4 on it. I got, did get one C4. I don't know if that's going to go through the box or what. Right, leave it. I'm leaving them. Let's no, see no, what no. this does if I blow this. I think I just got all the turrets off. I got two turrets down. Let's go. I can drop yeah, it from that. Yeah, then it, yeah, I do. Easy. Use. Easy, boy. I got 40k. How am I still getting shot? How am I? Okay. No, I told you, you don't need to soak that. Alright, that should be all down now. Yep, that's down. So I actually had an imprinted trike actually very early into this wipe. So I could soak a fair few bullets. Bear in mind this was a prim saddle and it didn't really have much HP at all. But it was soaking pretty well. I don't know. No. God Bro, damn. This, this, is, this is soaking like a champ. Yeah, and it's not made for it. And that's two heavies, bro. That's two heavies, that. So for the next half an hour, I'll just be soaking because they did actually have a fair few bullets, which was surprising because it was very early into wipe. Right. Base is soaked. Everything's soaked. I died at last second when I was shooting rockets. Like an absolute pleb. But... It's, um, done now. Or nearly. Trap the C4 on this. Should drop. Basically the whole base. There we go. Base is raided. Some bullets. I mean they did have a good amount of bullets. I can't even lie. Did take a minute to uh, another fabricator. There we go. Um, more bullets. Not fat fat but good profit I guess. Heavy turret. I dropped that without even soaking it. So yeah, they did actually have a good amount of bullets. Uh, I'll take them. Right, now into the actual loot here. We've got a mannequin here. What did he have on him? Anything? Oh, chop wyvern. Ember wyvern, so. Quite a low level one. Right, let's see what the mannequin has got in him. Uh, I thought that was a snow owl egg there. Honestly, not much at all. 
Right, now we got the smithies and the chem benches. Hopefully, it supplies me some loot. Eh, yeah, you know what? It's profit. It's profit. Not, not fat fat. A rhino. Rhinos are actually really buffed on here, apparently. So, yes, yeah, snow our egg. I'll actually take that. And then, obviously, metal. Wait, right? that's another snow hour. Two snow hours. Right, let me drop this for the metal. So overall, it is a pretty mid raid. I did get a snow owl line and a rhino line from it, so I was kind of happy. And obviously, the bullets and materials were nice, but the action didn't stop there. When I was going to transfer off, I found a guy in a manor, and I'm gonna try to PvP him. That guy in a manor. Yeah, this guy in a manor. Yeah, yeah, man is here. This is man. Kill them, my stalker did that though. Oh, anglerfish! Let's go! Oh, let's go, anglerfish! That's actually huge! I literally got zero stalkers, so I'm gonna need to go attempt something, but. I can give you this three points. Had, he had got, he got flak, he had a uh, good flak, I'm pretty sure. Oh, good shorty too, nice. I haven't seen someone on a manor for years, bro. I can't even lie to you. Yeah, I know about these manors in this. Oh! So I deposited all that loot that I'd got from that PvP and that raid and came straight over to Fyodor and I found a raid in the snow biome thing and it was actually kind of easy. So let's do it and hope for some good loot. But I never scout Fyodor and I just thought I'd just scout the cliffs and I found a very, very easy raid for me. Um, So I'm about to do it now. I believe I can just charge it. I don't know how you charge those, to be honest. Uh, this should do the job. There we go. Yeah, that was so easy. That was very easy. Alright. I thought it was going to be harder than that, but obviously not. Uh, let me blow this. I believe it's 6x down here. I'm not 100% sure. Yeah, it is definitely 6x. That's crazy, that. Um, so let me see. Um, fabricator. Oh, fat loot, really. That's actually good loot. Uh, grapples, shorties, shorty shells, sorry. Uh, refining forges, a bit of metal. I'm not going to be taking these refining forges because right now I don't uh, need that. I just need the fat metal run. Uh, refining forge. There we go. Another track and X track. Yeah, we don't need that. Uh, Fabby. We'll take the Fabbies because they're actually very good right now. Uh, overall, overall, a decent raid. Literally didn't spend anything on it, really. So, yeah, definitely take that. Uh, I might actually see what how much bullets we got in here. How many bullets? Nah, not worth it. I then came over to Val as I wanted to farm load the drops because purple drops in here is a chance of you getting a shotgun so I needed to get a couple of them for a centre boss fight and I stumbled across one of the craziest finds this early on I've ever had uh, I guess you'll see what that is in a second oh my god I found someone I found someone with replicator What the hell is this guy doing? 100 C4 Nothing Must have L beats everything and run But oh. This is mad, like, I don't, I got 100 and something C4 though. 
What the hell? That is crazy. Don't know how I just found that. I was on the side of the map, just found random guy. Oh, heavies! And a good rhino saddle. Let's go. So I needed to get my rat hole fully teched here. So I came up to center to do a hard center boss fight. To obviously get tech turret, tech trans and all of that good stuff. So let's do it. Right. There we go. The boss should be done. There we go. It's done. I've got the engrams and I've also got how much element? Oh my god. 510. That's actually insane. Um... Obviously, use my uh, controller to LB the uh, monkey's element. But yeah, I've got loads of stuff in my upload ready to craft uh, a few bits. So that's what I'm going to do now. Wait, oh my god. I've had to just destroy a foundation for... Oh my god, I've just got another 224 <laughs> element. <laughs> <laughs> I had to <laughs> I had to destroy that to place my foundation down and even more element that's actually funny I'm just gonna craft turrets right now uh, what do I need crystal I didn't bring crystal oh I only need turrets right now but now I'm gonna place this all this element in a box on this map so the one thing i was stacking on heavily was blueprints so i came over to lost islands to farm the drops in the desert as the spawn rate's so so quick obviously there are other people over here doing it with me so i'm probably gonna run into some pvp oh i need to be careful baby it feels love baby it feels love hello maywing just gonna quickly lb this drop for me late Black chest BB, kind of nice. There we go. Oh my, my boy was farming drops. Um, let me see what he has. I got a chest BB, two, six, four. Okay, nice. Nice, nice, nice. Bro, it's like, it's day one. I know this is a bit harsh, me raiding this, but I'm going to raid it because I want loot. You know what? I'm not even going to waste a C4 on this. I'm just going to swipe it down. So if I get no loot, I haven't lost anything. Right, let's see what we got. A Fabby. That Fabi alone is a profit. Mm. Like, actually is. A snow owl, please be a male. And it's a male snow owl. I literally needed a male snow owl to breathe. And I got one. Let's go. Uh, I'm just going to take the stuff that I don't actually... I'm just going to take the stuff that I actually need. Not everything, you know. Um, fabricator. Profit in that. Mortar. Um, a bit of metal in each, to be fair. Uh, wait, how much metal are we talking? Uh, but yeah, I'm just gonna leave that. But I got a male snow owl, which, which I needed, so like, yeah. And I kept on scouting the rest of that center, and I found another base. This time it didn't have turrets again, but we all know that don't mean it don't have any loot. So let's see what loot it has. Okay. Sleeping, obviously. Uh, we've got more impressive, bit of gunpowder, bit more gunpowder. Let me just blow this all up because, yeah, it's a bit of a weird base to say the least. There we go, now I can actually kill him. What did he have on him? Uh, another Bloodstalker. If that's not leveled, that's actually a really decent Bloodstalker. An Ascendant Whip for me. Nice. Another PT. Yeah, not too much. Bit of pearls. Uh, fabricator. A little bit of loot there. Nice, nice. Uh, I'm not going to bother taking that, but that's decent. I'm going to kill this uh, rhino. 
Rhinos are actually buff, like 4.5x on here, so I'm probably gonna go grab some rhinos in a bit. Yes. Bro, I'm listening to. Let's go. What loot? Shrey, a whip. Not much loot, to be honest. Um, what Shrey? Yeah, another good Shrey. I'll take it. I'll take it. Folded my PT. It's fine. I need to transfer off anyway. I literally got into that drop to transfer. So I wanted to get some Magmasaur regs to do some fatty metal runs. Little did I know this was going to be very, very stressful. Oh, that's 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 really not good. What a double twenty five and a forty five. Yikes. As we all know, trading is a pretty good way of gaining better lines and blueprints. So there was someone in trading selling some PTs and I was selling my track. So I just decided to do a couple track eggs for a couple PT eggs. Obviously the track is a better line, but I just needed some PTs at this point. Says he's here. He's not here, bro. Oh yeah, he is. He's here. There we go. Right. Track. Egg or PTs. Oh no. There we go. There we go. Now we've got a PT line. That's good. Trade it for a track. There we go. Now I can go eat my dinner. Literally been waiting like 10 minutes just to go eat my dinner. Alright boys, I'm just finishing up this pole run and honestly I've been down here for like four minutes, five minutes and I've got a ridiculous amount of poles. This location is just absolutely insane. There's poles everywhere. And there's not even any PVE down here, which makes it 10 times better. Um, so right now, I've got... Let me see. I've got 250k poles, which will literally last me so, so long. That's uh, 285 slots. I'm going to get a little bit more and then... Um, go back to the server so i needed to tame a mantis and obviously the best way to tame these is over on ragdom rock with uh gilly armor or mushroom broth i believe it's called so i'm gonna test it out and see if i can tame one right what have we got here it's a female 205 that's not terrible that is actually not terrible it's not great but it's not bad. Uh, should I tame a female uh, male over here? Probably should. That's what I'll do now. Quickly tame a male, breed them up, get an egg. Go back and I'll have an imprinted mantis and also a good mantis line. That is good. good. Right boys, I've just finished up over on school stuff. I just want to get all the farming out of the way because after today i just want to be set and ready for the rest of the white really which i will be uh flint wise i got 600k which is insane considering i was over like half an hour um and then stone i got 250k and then i'm obviously gonna get more stone from my metal run that i'm about to do uh so yeah the grind is going very very well so i was scouting around aberration looking for raids and surprisingly i found so many that i'm actually gonna do uh but i scouted one spot in particular and there was actually a guy inside i think he was about to build his base so i'm gonna see if i can get some loot from him bro stalkers are so buggy he's just logged off oh my god it was literally just on. Oh my. I got a free farm from him. Nice. We'll take that. Oh, 
He was, yeah, he was just setting it up his base, but hadn't actually set up already. Fair enough. And then I came back to this actually kind of fat raid that I wanted to do, and it was on a rat hole on aberration as you're seeing now, and it had so many heavy turrets. So I'm gonna see if I can try to soak this in time, and hopefully they don't come online whilst I'm raiding it. Oh, oh, good. oh L with a trap, mate. Bozo.io. Yeah, Lewis is the biggest bozo. I'm the oh, of the tribe. I, I didn't realize. I was soaking, and I totally didn't realize I just ran out of health. Okay. Your track just died? Yeah. Yeah. I'm actually a bozo. <laughs> and you called Lewis the bozo. Well, yeah, that's perfect time, well, actually. I, I was, just, yeah, no, 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 no. Put that in your video. No, no, put that in your video. I, I, was, I was looking at your stream, and I was like, wait, what? And I just died. I didn't die, but my track did. You have more tracks? Or? Yeah, I've got one more track over here. It was just for mate boost, really. So I'd pretty much soaked most of these turrets, and I was getting excited because I was about to get in the base, and then something like this happens. Oh, he's online. No. Rip <laughs> GB. No way. Shoot. Oh, you ain't got Fabio. Sort of I do have a Fabio. And I did not have the gear to raid these guys online, so I had to sadly pack up my fob. I literally spent like 20 30 minutes soaking, and one of my tracks did die. It's a bit sad, but that's what happens on Ark sometimes. Oh, it's been raided. Wait, what? <laughs> Wait, what? They've. Yeah, they've been raided. Wait. Wait, what? Vault. Oh, they've. Why is there three volts picked up? Wait, GB, I swear it's recent. Yeah. We can do with everything. It's unlocked. Ah, oh. oh, I don't know. It's something really good and left. Yeah. What? It's been raided. I was coming over here to raid it, and there was turrets and not oh, Rhino said oh, actually. Now there's nothing. I remember when? I remember when? Vault picked up. Blew the vault. They must have got something good out of the vault. Yeah, they must have got something really good out of this actually. So rip. And then I came to do a metal run and I had a bit of diarrhea whilst doing so. Right boys, we just got 200k metal as you can see here. And a ton of stone. And we just have four forges smelting. And we'll be able to pump out metal ingots like it's nothing. So I was just scouting around Gen 2 and I found two guys around this rat hole. So I'm going to try to PvP them and gain some loot from them. Let's see how it goes. Right. Oi, what the hell? So to be honest, it looks like a lot of junk and RG saddles and loads of skins, but it actually isn't. I do love a bit of uh, red sometimes. Wait for him to come down. I love shorty red. It's beautiful. Oh, he had element on him. That's actually huge. I needed element. I actually needed that kind of bad. So whilst I was scouting around the gen 2, I found a nice base that I could raid and trust me, this had a lot of loot inside. However, there was a guy outside the base trying to PvP me, so I had to take care of this guy before anything. What do you mean? When we getting these good PPs there? Oh, we had a Stego on him. Tech Stego, level 27. Wait, what's offline timer? Could you check for me please? I have no clue. It's 15 days, 23 hours. That's two hours off now. Yeah, two hours off. So I had soaked a few turrets and to be honest, I was getting a little bit fed up. So I'm going to try to see spin these turrets. I thought there was no tech Jenny, so I could easily go for this generator. I guess we'll see how that one goes. Oh, I didn't realize. Ah, uh, bro, I can do that though. Wait, my PT's not getting shot. Yeah, nice. I can do that. Okay. I didn't break anything apparently. 
I um, got the cables, but I don't think I got rid of any turrets, as I thought it would have. Um, I'll have a look in a sec, actually, see if I've got any turrets unpowered. If not, it's looking like we can't do this, because... Oh, trust me, we're doing this. We might just have to soak a few more turrets. Yep, more it is. Turrets. More turrets though. How many turrets is there? The one is on a generator. That actually looks like there could be loot there. I guarantee, imagine the desk capped. Right, as soon as I said that, it got soaked. <laughs> Right. Got nothing in there. 97k metal. 97k metal. We'll definitely take that. Replicate it. Not on. Because, uh... Yeah, that's what I don't know. <laughs> he must have done our frag. I don't check, know. Check the, his, uh, his space ID. Yeah. See? I don't know. Oh, he's cheating. He's cheating. Oh. I think so. Oh! Yeah. Nice. No, no, no. Oh, jump. Ah, oh, nice. Dedicated storage. 98 slots of metal. Indie Forge. Oh, nice. Ingots. That's what we need. What's down there? I think it's just Thames down there. Need to blow this Raptor. Bit of a weird base layout. But we've got Ellie, Carbos, just a bunch of element. That's what I needed to be honest. Don't have to wait for an Ellie by him now. I'm happy with that. That's so much element. Oh, thank god for that. Now we got two volts. So we'll see what we get from these two volts, I guess. Right, two volts. Let's hope for a big profit. Both bags, that's promising. Oh yes, big profit. 281 slots. That's nice. Heavies, carbos, loads of R carbos. Another R carbo. Um, mutant gel. I'll take that. Mutant gel, good. Um, what are these legs? Yeah, decent legs actually. They're um, gonna try Maywing though. Uh, crystal. Okay, I haven't got enough slots in my inventory. But there's a ton of metal in here, Maywing eggs, which I actually do need. Um, so let me drop some of this flat. I'm not going to use it as it should print flat. Um, but yeah, it's not a bad raid. Not really profitable, but good enough. Right, boys, I'm about to come off. Um, today has been insane. Probably the most amount of progress I've ever made solo in a day. Um, just look at this, like, I'll, I'll just let this show you. I've got literally so many gens because the only way that you can really raid this is by meshing it. Um, so I've just made sure it can't get meshed. I have that amount of element that I've put three transmitters at the entrance so no one can just raid it pretty easily. Um, we then have loads of turrets. Some of these, wait, that, yeah, that, that, that's a problem there. Uh, we need to fix that. I thought these all had good bullets. I mean, some have good bullets, some have pretty bad bullets, but overall, it's not terrible. I'm going to pick this up just because, yeah. Um, but yeah, as you can see, the base is looking pretty fat. We should be we should be good. I'm just going to stay on and fill these turrets up uh, here because these are actually very important turrets right there. So at the start of this video, you saw me scout a rat hole that I wanted to raid. So I went over there to see if it had been raided. And to my surprise, it had actually been raided. However, there were still turrets powered on. So I wanted to see if there was any remaining loot. And trust me, there was so, so much. Go on. Power gen. Oh, this has been raided, ain't it? Yeah. Actually, take that back. Look how much. Look how much bullets. 10k bullets. Okay. I mean, 
I just spent 20 minutes on this with, on a raider base. Oh. I think that's a little bit more than what I expected. It's definitely more than 10k bullets. But I got 600 sorts of bullets. Oh, bro, bro, I got a thousand sorts of bullets. Bro, I just got a thousand sorts of bullets. No way. Yeah, uh, 600 he, in here. He's doing, he's doing, yeah, the He must be, he must be. I do not know how a raided base had that kind of bullets in, so I'm expecting something fishy was going on in here. Anyway, I'm not complaining, I just got like a thousand slots of bullets for literally 10 minutes of work. Let's go. The raiding did not stop there. I had so many raids on this center that I had just scouted. So I bring my trike over and we're going to run through all of them right now. First of all, it was this little snow rat hole, which was definitely the easiest raid of them all. Hopefully I can gain some good loot out of it. I already soaked this. Got prim flax, so I literally cannot run two heavy turrets. It's a bit of a rip. I think I've already solved it. Let me see. Let me see if I have. Can't lie. I need to get a good flat blueprint somehow. Yeah, I've already solved it. Nice. Alright, let's see what loot we've got. I'm not expecting much, but honestly, I came over here to do a raid. Tried to raid it, and I just couldn't do the raid because I had to like build into it. Um, but so, so much profit considering literally haven't spent anything on it i need all of this hide to uh, i would definitely take it like people probably ask why you raid these sorts of bases but like you've seen the loot that is why you raid these sorts of bases uh you got a bit of metal i'm gonna leave that metal though um let's break this mannequin there we go and not much in that but the fabricator was worth it, definitely. Wait, did I have a smithy? Oh yeah, I got a smithy all that hide. At least I don't have to farm that hide now. Uh, they didn't actually start building their main bit, but yeah, not bad. Oh, these guys are- Yeah, someone's tried to raid this with racers. But has not successfully done it. Stream, show me it. Hold on, I can't- I can't right now. I'm streaming. Yeah, this someone's trying to raid it. Someone's tried to raid it. But like they've got so close but haven't actually raided it. It looks like these guys have done most of the work for me, so I'm just gonna chuck out my track, soak a few turrets and get some fat loot hopefully. What are these guys actually doing, like? How are they expecting to raid this? Right, so you just whack a seagull on this. There we go. That should have blown one turret. That blown both, I think. Did it blow both? I believe so. Nice. Let's see what this guy had. Rockets. Why was he going in with rockets? Fair enough. Um, now I just need to grab my C4 back out my base. Uh, not base. This little fob. I'll actually show you guys. What I was trying to raid before this because um yeah I, I don't know what I was thinking so this was the location that I was raiding before as you're gonna see my Fortnite in a minute um yeah it is actually really hard and I've only got tracks right now so it's just basically impossible um to raid that so obviously I'm not raiding that I have found another base actually opposite to it and I'm raiding it right now as you're seeing I just want to clarify, when I say Fortnite and building into a base, I don't mean building actually into the base, I mean building so I can soak the base and then get in that way. One, two, three, four, five. Right, let's blow into this. There we go. I don't want to drop this other wall opposite to this. Um, because there are turrets on that side. Uh, but not looking great at the moment. He's got so many shells. Crazy amount of shells actually. Fabricator, a little bit of metal, chem bench, gunpowder, nice, stone, nice. Uh, I don't actually have to blow anything in here, however, I'm just gonna go like this. If I can, if my sequel lets me. There we go. Go like this, boom, bang. 
refrigerator, we got a racer, and we got a rhino. Then obviously, oh, there's another guy sleeping here. We'll kill these two real quick. Let me grab this broken flag, because I've got prim flag. I'm not liking my prim flag. Uh, Smithy, a little bit of stuff, I'll take that. Fabby, loads of bullets, gunpowder for days. Nice. Wait, what was that? I just heard something. Oh no, it's nothing. And then we've got this. Oh, heavies. Nice. Trip has been well worth it over here. Heavies. Uh, we've got nothing in that. And nothing again. But yeah, that was a good way. Considering I didn't have to do anything really for it. So I just wanted to get as many raids in as possible. And I've got another raid for you guys now. This is over on Crystal Wells. I was just scouting around and found someone had built in this little location. I haven't really ever raided this before. But hopefully it's got some decent loot inside. It should be quite an easy soak. Right boys, just soaking these turrets. And honestly, this track's not doing bad considering it's got a 43 armor saddle on it. Um... But yeah, I'll be here probably half an hour soaking and then I'll come back to you guys. I think there's going to be some decent loot in this base to be fair. I hope there is at least. Uh, but let me heal up these trikes and get soaking again, I guess. And that is out of oh, bullets. There we go. Whole wall soaked. That's quite a lot of turrets. I can't even lie to you. It's it's actually a good amount of turrets. Um let me strap a C4 to this wall. I don't know why they've still got stone on their wall when like, oh no they don't. It was just um, showing that. Right, let's get into this base. What egg's that? Uh, mantis. I don't really need a mantis egg. There we go. Uh, there's actually a lot of turrets here. I can't even lie. I didn't actually realise how many turrets there were. Um, but there were internal, but... Wait, there's three guys, two guys in there. Uh, I don't know why I had a behemoth gate on him. Bit of a weird one, that. Um, yikes. <laughs> uh, not great loot already from the, that. Fabricate, oh, shield BP. Nice, I actually needed a shield BP. So we'll take that. Drop the LE because right now we don't need that. Uh, mortar, nothing. Oh, Maywing saddle. Uh, one stone, big profit. Bit of gunpowder. Nice. Flint. Fabricator. More bullets. Yeah, these guys had so many bullets. It was kind of crazy. Uh, refrigerator. Loads of med brews. Don't really need that though, to be honest. Um, mannequin. Oh, okay, right. Chop wagons. Better flat. Uh, PTs, Kangaroo, Baryonyx, Velo, nice, yeah, n not much to be honest with you, like, it was, it was a nice raid, but it took me like an hour, and for that loot, probably not worth it, but it's profit, it's profit, uh, Indie Forge, yeah, not much in the Indie Forge either, yeah, had literally nothing, uh, so overall we did gain some profit but for the time spent on it it weren't really amazing but at the end of the day profit's profit. Right boys I just got a hard carry through Alpha Rockwell. I was literally just um came back from my dinner and the tribe that I just chilling in the VC with were like they're doing uh, a boss and they were literally already over here ready to do it. The drop was on 10 out of 100 and lucky enough I got in in time I don't know how I done that uh, but yeah as you can see I didn't even have a kit on me um but that's all the engrams I should need yeah it is actually perfect right boys so I've been making some pretty fat progress I'm actually loving this server at the moment uh I just want this base to be as organized as possible so I've literally just organized it for like half an hour um obviously base looking kind of fatty we got 
63 turrets and most of them are capped because I'm totally honest with you guys on this channel I'm not gonna lie to you I haven't had no blueprints or any chance to get blueprints and everyone's got really good shorties stuff like that so I did actually get a full set of flat BPs yes I did donate like what was it seven dollars or something um, I'm not a dono bob but I just really need a good flak I can't rock prim flak anymore so yeah that is what I did get Obviously, I'm honest with you guys. I'm not going to try to lie and go, yeah, I didn't. Um, you really don't have to do this. If you've got a full tribe, then you can get these BPs pretty easily. But I haven't been focused on it. And it's a bit too late for me to do that. So I'm going to mind wipe. Craft loads of sets of black and we're good. So I continued to scout another sensor. And I found a raid that looked pretty easy to do. However, these guys were online. And they're going to come out for some PvP. So let's see what happens here. Oh my god, oh my god No oh way, there's a gap, there's like a gap on the side where you can PT spin And if I jump off perfectly, I can blow that wall With like two PT spins, I'm in Abdul, come closer, Abdul Oh, there's a guy here I might be dead I'm not dead What's the best shopping wakey? Wakey wines. Passive. I don't know if he was naked or what. No, not naked. I don't know if that was the guy from the... Oh, no. Not this, not this. Don't fall all the way down. I can't tell with that. Oh, my PT killed him. My stalker, sorry. Oh, yeah. Yeah, he's coming out. We can fight. Enjoy. So I left you guys on a cliffhanger last video and I was going to attempt to try to see spin this base and hopefully get inside of it and get some loot. So I'm going to do that now. Let's see if it works. Uh, wrong. He's on uh, I could have done that, but he's online. So I'm just going to say no to that one. So yeah, sadly the guy was actually online and that would be pretty much impossible to do whilst he was online. But I scouted the rest of that center and found a very poorly built base, but it was really, really fat. So I'm going to see what damage I can cause and maybe even raid it. Like a different one, like when I mean, you go in the Reaper cave. Oh my god, that was a good C spin, but they've got internals. Don't know where, but I'm pretty sure I did hear internals. No. Oh. But. So I was inside of the base, but they did have a lot of internal turrets, so I pretty much couldn't do anything here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring a couple tracks up and see if I can try to soak this. Right, there we go. That's one cliff back gone. Oh my god, what are they doing? Why are they building a base like this and getting away with it? Oh my god, bro. I literally don't even have to soak much. So I could pretty much soak this whole entire base from where I was right now and it was going pretty well. All I would need is just some time and hopefully uh, they don't come online because I'm going to be pretty vulnerable and I will probably end up dying. Oh, he's online. Oh my god, how did that so unlucky time? He's just gone now. Oh, where's my grapple? I don't have my hatchet on me. Tech stuff can't be used on Jen. No, you can't use tech stuff. He's popped the gig. He's popped the new thing. Hey. 
taken down. He's online, bro. Oh my god, I'm so annoyed. Every time someone gets online, it's just so jarring now. So I pretty much just deposited all my loot back at my base and came off for the night as I really didn't have much to do. And when I looked in the morning, I woke up to no beds. Because I've just loaded them and I see I've got no beds. And that means I've been raided. But look at this tribe log a bit. I did go over there to see because I did put a lot of jennies. Right, so first of all, you see him destroy a few metal triangles. And then straight away, he's in my base destroying my bed. Didn't drop one turret. Not one turret, but destroyed my bed. Bro, okay, it's, it's obvious it's mesh, but I'm just gonna go over there, just double check, see what's actually happened, because it's it's ridiculous really what's just happened, like, the only way you can raid that rat hole is by meshing it, and I can guarantee you not one dino died and they've raided it, so I've been meshed, it's clear to say. And you may be thinking he's just calling out mesh because he's being raided, but that's far from the case. Literally my first thing to get destroyed was beds. Bear in mind I had about 80 turrets that were all capped, uh, and they didn't even die once before destroying my beds. It sounds a bit sus, but let's go investigate more. So starting, starting here, C4 Metal Foundation, Metal Foundation. Straight away, they get my refrigerator without destroying one turret, or soaking, or one of their turrets dying. Bro, it's so... It's impossible to do that. And they destroy the heavies after, like... It's not even possible to raid that without... They destroy my beds before they destroy the turret or a dino dying or one of them dying. It's clear. It's clear it's mesh. Not one bullet soaked out of a turret. Hold up, lads. Just, just to put it clear. Not 20 shards, 10 shards, 12 shards, not one shard is soaked out of these turrets. Two shards. It's impossible. You couldn't have done that without soaking them shards, and not one of their dinos dying. It's obvious it's mesh. Like, it's it's ridiculous. And I also look in my tribe log, and you're about to see this situation get a little bit worse because four tribes raided me in one night. Tribe of human, tribe of human, tribe of cloning base, cloning base, cloning base. Yeah, it's these guys outside. What's tribe, tribe, there's four, three different tribes that's attacked me overnight. Tri no, four. Four different tribes. Right, so this tribe of Pi that's done the initial meshing, it looks like. So they've destroyed my beds already. And then tribe of 357984 destroyed so they daddies. Came to counter, yeah. And then, and then cloning base come and raid me even more. So there's three different tribes. Four, three, four different tribes. Yeah, like up. so yeah that is very suspicious none of my bullets got soaked out of my turrets my beds were the first thing to get destroyed they didn't die once to my base uh so yeah it's pretty clear that they had meshed it and hopefully i'll get some admin support and get my base back and whilst i'm waiting for my ticket to get responded to i'm gonna go join my mates over on a bear cave raid they just invited me along so let's see what loot we can get from this and then hopefully my ticket will be responded to after so we tech rifled most of the hatch frames down and basically there was about five turrets left so i'm gonna see if i can just grapple glitch behind them and get the generator off like that so let's do it you did say you wouldn't i'm in i'm a loyal fan yeah i know I'll but win. you ain't got shit like i have i've got 13 c4 i'll get the gem yeah i have to get to Peril, power of gunfight got you. One, two. How many? How many C4 is it on 6x? Uh, uh, eight. Oh, three. 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 It's three. And uh, Gen is four. Gen. All right, I've got a Gen exposed now. Just place as much. Nice. Yeah, right, it's down. The whole wall was down. No way the Gen was there. Yeah. I mean, there's like four turrets left. It's not like these. Yeah. Yeah. Wait, there's a gem back here. It might be internals. Nah, I don't think there is. Oh, yeah, blow up. Blow up. Get the reprint. Okay. Uh, Rhino saddles. I'm taking some rockets, by the way. Um. Bro. Fat loot. Nothing. I mean, really. I mean, it really ain't too fat. Yeah. Um. The metal box I rated. Oh, look at the fridge, there, lads. Some tames. Uh, let me see. Wait, fridge. 
The best thing in there oh, is yeah, mum wipes. Yeah, not any good. Uh, a few times, yeah. Nothing great. I'm gonna get the garbage now. Uh, there's loads of vaults though. Saddles, flat. Yeah. Grow fridge on me, lads. Oh, quite a lot of teams. That's not bad. Andrew Sarkis. Andrews. Nice. One though. Racer, something like yeah. Gunpowder. Load up my. Oh my god. This is tragic so far. I mean, oh, it's, just... it's getting worse. It's getting worse. Dust. A bit of dust. Yeah. These are all the cryos so far. Oh, hold on, let me. Oh, that's actually a good amount of cryos. Okay, all, all fair enough. Terrible, but like, the Andrew oh, Sarkis is alright. Fair enough, fair enough. So it's a pretty mid raid. We did get a lot of times. However, it don't really matter because I wasn't going to get any of this loot because I'm going back to solo. And let's see if we get our mesh base replaced. Um, that rhymes a bit there. Right, I'm not going to lie to you guys because that's what I don't do on this channel. I got given all my stuff back and you're probably thinking this is a bit unfair, but it was obvious I did get meshed. So I got given back all my lines, which I had the Stegos, I had Snow Owls, I had PTs, and I also had Stalkers. I did get given back all my blueprints and some materials to get going again. This would help me get going and I could start raiding people. I do have to thank the admin team on this server. They did do a great job. And honestly, I wouldn't still be playing without them. So um, yeah. And I don't know, a few of you guys may think this is unfair, but it's really fair because I literally had all this stuff in my rat hole, probably more than what I have on this cliff plat, but I just didn't want to build back in the rat hole because I'd probably just get meshed again. Uh, so that is why I have decided to build on this cliff plat location. So I went out for some PvP again and I found some guys actually attempting to raid this pretty overpowered location. Little did I know I was going to raid this in a future video, but I'm going to try to counter them and get a bit of pvp maybe even gain some kits sound like i don't see him he's gonna think he oh there we go he's dead Jimbo. Plus he's trying to respawn. Let me see what I can do here. Big boy Jimbo. They're currently raiding this. Oh my god. Fair enough. He's got his, he's got stuff in that body, I'm telling you. Oh no, I'm not ready. Can't lose this fight, I'm already low. Right. I'm just gonna grave these for a bit. Not much to really do right now. If I did have raised tames, I could easily just come over to this and just yoink this raid off of them. But I don't, I don't have any raised tames. So I hit one shot out of my full clip and then this guy says this. Or he's calling me out for ball. Yeah, a bit of a weirdo, but I thought let's settle it. Let's have a bit of foot PvP without any tames or any rockets or any C4, so I thought. And that is what we're about to do, hopefully. Alright, let's do foot. Bit of foot PvP, lad. Oh. oh bro, it's so annoying. 
I don't know if you can even call that PvP. They killed me with some C4 and rockets. Anyways, it's all good. It's only a kit, it don't really matter. So I was scouting around all the meteors and I found out that there was someone actually built on one of them. So I could literally just throw a stego on top of this, hopefully get on it in time and then just ride it down and hopefully rock it all the walls and get in like that. Let's see if it works. Nah, I'm not there yet. Okay, got it. Am I gonna make that? Yeah, I'm trying, I'm trying. Mm -hmm. No, you would, you would. You might get to it. Oh my. It's okay, it's okay, it's okay. Keep going. Oh. Yeah, I'm just gonna see if I can soak. If I can soak. I might be able to soak this. I'm probably gonna be able to soak. You have rockets in your inventory. Do I? I don't. Oh yeah, I do. Yeah, I know. I need to get the right rock. Yeah, you got it. Uh, that's fun. There we go. Oh my god. Oh my god. This <laughs> oh. is It's down. Bloodstall got shells for days. So I should put my kit back in. I need a whip. Like, I can't even lie, I don't have silk. Oh, there we go. There we go, we got we got what we wanted, a whip. Right. Where's their loot? So, they've got vaults there, they've got stalkers here. They've got another sleeping guy. There. What are these eggs? Magmasaur eggs, level 25, don't need none of them. Yeah, them stalker eggs aren't the best. Right, let's blow this up. Oh my. Yes. Oh. Yo. Okay. Bit of fat loot in here. I'll take that. You actually need oil too. There we go. Two chem benches. Nice. Right. Um. We got a power gen there. Smithy here. Oh. Okay. A chest BP. Um. Quet saddle BP. A basilisk. A Pego Mastax. I've <laughs> never seen one of them in a cryo in my life. Not bad, not bad. I'll take that too. Chem bench, refrigerator. Oh, look at the Thames. Two so's, FFA. Nice, nice. Uh, chem bench, don't really need to take the flint. Now we blow the vaults. Alright, first vault. We've got 330 slots of absolute garbage. You know what? I do not have any silk, so I need whips. Probably the most useful thing in your PvP kit. Oh, a capped, a capped long neck. Nice. Right, let me blow these two bolts. No, one bolt. What I'm saying. Last bolt. We got shotty shells. We got a shotgun. I've got a cap BP, so like, I don't really need that. But yeah, not too much of the vaults, but overall, like a nice little raid to be fair. Got some loot, I guess. How much indie forge? Oh, we'll take that. We'll take that metal, actually. Can never go wrong with a bit of metal. So I saw an underwater rat hole that looked like it was getting built. So I'm going to see if I can run the turrets and get some loot from it. Little did I know karma was going to hit pretty hard because these guys weren't too fat at all. And yeah, I just let the clip play out. Got loot. Yeah. 
Yo. Bro, he's botting. He's botting. He's literally botting. He's botting. I've also found something else uh, which is kind of crazy. I literally shotgunned this guy's legs off and instantly he had no legs on. So yeah, he was definitely hacking, um, which I saw we got Karma for Raid and a Bob there, but at the same time he was a hacker, so I don't know. I then was scouting around another center and I found another base that was pretty fat. This time they had a floor in their base and all their turrets on that chandelier were actually on only survivors and I'm about to test it out now. If they are, I can bring a flyer over strap c4 to it and then blow it up like that still right let me swing my stalker into this probably not the best idea but yeah it's all right <laughs> look, look i just swung my stalker into that look ready it's gonna go into that it's streaming so I always on only survivors now all I had to do is keep whistling a snow out in and out with a couple c4 or one c4 on each time and I should be able to get most of the turrets off oh, right passive passive there we go I'm here bro what is this shit Oh, he's literally there. That's not good. What are we doing? Inside the vault and that. Oh. Starting this one off, I was scouting around Extinction, a map that I don't really ever scout, and I found a raid that was actually very easy to do. All I would have to do is chuck out a few stegos, soak a little bit, and then grapple glitch, and then I was in. So let's do it. I don't know why that heavy's not shooting me. I kind of want to get rid of these bear traps because I'm going to chop my stego out here and I don't want bear traps. Right, there we go. Bear traps are gone. There we go. We can just soak nice from here. Oh, yes. Right, I've soaked this whole um, side. So I'm just thinking I might be able to grapple with it. Yeah, I'm probably going to get stuck on one of their tames. Alright, that's perfect. Uh, what am I getting shot by? Alright, that's fine. Um, right. So I can just blow this wall here. Or one. And then I'll put someone here too. I'll put five on this foundation. I'll literally drop this whole wall. I'm hoping. There we go, it's dropped, it's dropped everything, I just need one more grapple. Grapple bit straight in there. Oh, the Jenny's on a foundation, bro. How are you doing that to yourself? Alright, nice, nice. Bro. Bro, I put five on that. <laughs> Yikes. Bro, I put 5 on that. So, my C4 must have glitched out because I put enough C4 to drop that foundation, which would obviously drop the generator, but it didn't drop. So, we need a grapple glitch here again. Right, I'm just going to stagger rush this because I'm fed up of dying. Right, there we go. Should literally be fine. Look how low this foundation is from me blowing it. There we go, everything is down. Wait, not everything. That's got a gem box in. I'll have to go drop that real quick. Let me grab my dead bodies because GB don't know how to raid a base it looks like. Right, I'll go drop this uh, tower before I start looting. Uh, it's only a few heavies, I can drop that pretty easily. Let's go. Let's go. Right, everything is down. Nice. Right, loot-wise, Smithy. 
Um, a bit of gunpowder. Element. I'm so confused. Like, they've got tech turrets, but they haven't got shards or anything like that. So, yeah. I, I am a little bit confused. 25 Ellie in there. Another smithy. Oh, good stego saddles. They crafted by these. Yeah, they crafted by him. So they've got that BP somewhere. Somewhere, I don't know. It might be in the vault. Um, might be able to get that, actually. Alright, let's uh, destroy these vaults. Is there two vaults? Two vaults. Never know. Fat loot, maybe. Alright, the vault is down and the cryofridges are too. Got loads of crystal. I'm looking for the Stego Saddle VP because they're 100% got it. Unless it's in their upload, which it actually could be. They might have put it in their upload. Which would be the smart thing to do. A few cryopods, nice. Cryofridge of Brinos. Even more stuff. That's actually a good amount of cryopods. I'm going to drop the empty ones because, yeah, there's a lot of empty. But cryo wise. So a few cryopods there, definitely. Right, let me blow this vault too. Another vault. Uh, rockets. Yeah, where is this Stego saddle? They must have uploaded it. They've 100% uploaded it. Which is a bit of a, bit of an L, but I mean, I would do the same thing to be honest. Uh, chem bench. Nothing in chem benches it looks like. There actually might be though. How much bullets in these heavies? A decent amount, I guess. Um, see what the chem benches and indie forges have in. They weren't even logged out in here. Uh, we don't actually need any of that, to be honest. I've got loads of gunpowder from raids and that already, so. Let's look at this, see how much we've got. So overall, it was actually a decent raid. It really didn't take me much time or effort at all. So I was happy with that. Gain some more loot. So boys, I found a really, really fat base and I wanted to raid it. And to be honest, I can actually raid this, believe it or not. I just tech rifled down a hat tray that was covering this little hole. And now I'm going to see if I can grapple glitch in try to maybe soak this wall of turrets and do it like this honestly this base has about 80 to 120 turrets so it's going to be a very challenging raid for me but i feel like i can do it yeah i can i can do that with a good grapple glitch i guarantee you i can do that it's just going to be one of them raids where you die so many times but when you hit it perfectly it's going to be well worth it Oh no. Ow. Am I okay? As soon as I stop pulling this, I'm gonna drop. Yeah. Oh my god. I so annoy him. Oh my god, that was close as well. I can do it. I can literally do it. I can do it. Right, no one know I can do it. It's about getting the perfect grapple. Fall a little bit, then grapple. There you go. Might be See? There we go. <laughs> so Holy sexy guy. Good. Right, now. You should, you should have brought spare flak. That's a mistake. Can you grapple your old body? Oh, I'm such an idiot. I should have waited to like chuck. But, um, can I grapple my own old body? I don't know, maybe. Right. Finally. Look how many times I've died here, lads. It is crazy. It's ridiculous. There we go. We've got the stego that I needed. Let's harvest these bags. And let's try to chuck this in. Neutral. So that in. I see. Alright. Now I don't have any C4. I do. Don't know if that's enough to drop a hat tremble. Oh, 
I've dropped something. I've dropped something. Uh, not Cliff. Need to get underneath that hatch frame. Which shouldn't be too hard. There we go. I didn't check my... I'm just gonna have to let this body block this. Like that. No, bro. All right, it's gonna body block that. Hopefully, hopefully that will body block where I need it to be. One more rocket. Okay. All right, there we go. Now we need to be slow with what we do because <laughs> there's there's a lot of flak here, but it's all scuffed. All right, let me see. All oh, right, right, right. So we have got quite a few turrets there however the tech gens on top of a right a tech gens on top of a all right probably wasn't a great idea to do that all right i need a tech rifle one tech gen there and there's one on top of this cliff flat however there's loads more right so there's one gen there and one on top of cliff flats. Unless there's three gens, I don't know. So there was actually three gens, so I'm gonna have to find the last gen and hopefully drop it. The second gen I can see spin on top of that cliff plat and hopefully get it like that. And then I will have to soak a few turrets and then get the other generator off. So let's see how we're going to do this one. So I see spun on top of the cliff plat. There was only one tech shooting me. And lucky enough there was a hole in the foundations where I could just sit down and tech rifle this generator off. However, this wouldn't really do much. I still need to get two other tech generators. Let's hope. I'm hoping that dropped that whole bit of shandy type looking thing. Fingers crossed it did. If I if it did, it's raidable. I'm raiding him right now. That's flat. Oh my god, he's got donut BPs. That's good. Good stag of four. Are you Ooh. in? Oh no, I've just got all his loot though. Like all of what was on his body. I need a I'm shield. Good, I, I'm not gonna kill him. I'm not gonna kill him because he's flex. Slaughter that guy. Yeah, should I just kill him? Uh, what That's actually for? hilarious. Yeah, you... yeah, yeah. I haven't <laughs> raided him yet. I haven't really you killed him. So the last generator powering all of these turrets was behind the transmitter. Lucky enough I had a decent tech rifle and enough element to do this. The problem they made with this base is there were so many dinos in it and it was just LOS in most of the defences inside of their base and they just didn't build it well at all. It's such a fat base but it wasn't built well. There yeah, go. there we go, it's down, They're raided. Let me get rid of these beds first. Bastion! It's Bastion! <gasps> oh my god, Who's that? Who's that? No, 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 wait, wait, wait. Oh my god, clip that. Clip that. <laughs> I don't know who that is, but okay. Send that to me, send that to me, send that to me. Yeah, after I've actually looted, mate. How many did you just get out? Four. There's, this is a full four, man. Oh my god, it's Bastion. He talks so much. He's, he just. <laughs> he talks too much. Oh my god, crazy. He's unlooted. Got all these tech rifles. Oh, oh, look at the tech gauntlets. There's some good yeah, tech gauntlets. Yeah, hold on. Oh, bro. <laughs> this is fat. Right. That big boy. Sorry about that. Tech rap. Oh, 100 LE. Oh, gunpowder. Nice. That's a lot of gunpowder, actually. Oh! Yeah, that, the really good BPs. I don't, yeah, they... they might, might be. Might be Dono BPs. Oh, good Rhino BP actually. I need Hydra right now to repair my flak at this fort. Um. What's Harley saying? I don't 
I think you went the other way. Uh, what's that? Apache Rhino, why did I have that? <laughs> Alright. Are you... Right, veggie cakes. These will all be veggie cakes, which I'll actually take all of these to raid more people with. Uh, my wipes. Shadow steaks. Oh, yes. I needed them. Needed them shadow steaks. Uh, Tech Jenny. Got 43 LE in there. Right, we've got rifles. We've got capped weapons. Tech gaunts. Good tech gaunts, actually. Uh, Cot. Nets, let me actually put them nets in my inventory. Uh, grapples, rifles, tech rifles, yep. Yeah. We've got loads. What have we got in this vault? Loads of blueprints. Looks like these guys run Gollum a lot. Um, shoulder cannon too. <laughs> nice, let me put that shoulder cannon on. Actually, I'll take my tech shield. I can't take my tech shield off. Right, another vault is down. A good shield BP. Looking like they really do not have too, too much in here. Um, I mean, I got a ton of resources from their rep, actually. And 17k ARB. Actually, I haven't really looked too much into their deadies. Uh, a bit of dust. Deadies overall are pretty poor, though. Uh, let's go. We've got a tech, tech suit, exo suit. Now, um, yeah, really not much in the vault so far. Hopefully it can get back. That is blown. Uh, not really too much. I might be looting a bit too fast, but honestly not much in that. Uh, there's another vault here, so I'm going to blow that one. Vault, uh, capped, fabby, loads of... Good, decent flak, I would say. Not good, good flak, but decent flak. Uh, and then chem benches. Um, ingots, quite a bit. I'll take the ingots, I guess. I'm only taking the stuff that is, like, worth it, you know? Like, yes, I, I could take all of them daddies. Uh, but I'm only going to take the high daddy. Uh, nothing else is really worth it now. I'll destroy all these daddies. So. Let me take the hide. Hide daddy. Where's the hide? And dust daddy, actually. Made my dust back from what I spent on here. Um, but yeah, that is basically it. I'm going to actually drop that whole base because I just kind of want to. Um, let me relook in the reppy. Another shoulder cannon. Some good rhino saddles, actually. Uh... I'll take this and I'm gonna drop that whole base. So, yeah. Oh no, I'm not gonna drop everything. But hopefully, this will drop quite a bit of stuff. Yep. Didn't really drop everything. <laughs> I left this up. You know what? So, overall, a very solid raid, and honestly, that is a very fat base that I've just raided. So, it felt very worth it in my part. I did actually gain quite a lot of loot from it, too, so I was very happy. I then was doing a fat scout of the Lunar Biome because there were still so many bases left on the cluster, and I found a pretty easy one to raid. I could literally get underneath the cliff plat and blow the generator from there, so let's go and do it. Yeah, I can get under that. So, what the hell? Alright, I got it. I don't know what my stalker's doing. My stalker's gonna die. What is my stalker actually doing? Like, yo, what an idiot of a stalker. I can't tell though. Actually, I should be able to just go down like that. Yeah, the particles are there. It's definitely here somewhere. Yeah, the gen is where I thought it was, that's good. There we go, it's down. It's down! I lost a stalker, but it's fine. Hopefully I get some bigger profit than a stalker. Yes, I do! Okay, nice. Fills my daddies up even more. Fatty loot. Uh, veggie cakes. 
gunpowder, another pen bench gunpowder. Let's go. Pretty nice, pretty nice. Oh, yeah. Right, starting with this. Not much in that one. Dust. We'll take that extra dust. We're always going to need dust. Braiding off maps. Nothing in that one. Shotguns. Obviously, I've got a really good shot EBP, so not really useful. Nothing in that mannequin. I don't know why this Genesis is lagging so much, but yeah, nothing in the mannequins. The cryo fridges might be interesting. Indie Forge, nothing in there. Oh, there he is. He's dead on the side of it. Oh, 15 C4. Perfect. Um, kill that guy real quick. Alright. Oh, he's already dead. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to kill a person who's already dead. Bro, this is so fat considering it literally took me off. It's definitely on this cliff. Pack. But now, if I drop this cliff, pack, it's fine too because none of the loot on it. I've already looted all the loot on the cliff. Pack, so it drops, it drops. There we go. Cryo fridge. I got loads of tracks. Loads of tracks and two blood stalkers. I made my blood stalkers back, I guess. Um, transmitter. Would there be anything in a transmitter? Might bring the tech rifle over here and quickly destroy this trans. Um, but overall, a very nice raid here. I'm going to see if there's anything in here. Um, indie cooker, nothing. Nice, nice. That's decent. That's actually really good. So I wanted to do a more challenging solo raid. So I was scouting around and found a very, very fat location up in the ceiling. And I could actually build up to soak and then do it like that. But I found a better way later on uh, of how to raid it. So let's do it. Right boys, so I came over here to raid this base. And honestly, it's kind of fat. I've built some fat scaffold for this one. Um, I actually want to do it without any interruption sort of thing. Uh, but I'll show you how fat it is, it's looking pretty juicy inside, so hopefully they have a little loot, um, I'm just going to start soaking, like basically right now, let's do it. Boys, I'm going to do this a different way, soaking really isn't working, I've literally soaked about 10 turrets and I've been over here for like an hour, so I'm going to be using a lot of Ellie dust here, but I'm going to just tech rifle all these hatch frames down hopefully, I've got a really good tech rifle, uh, so it should do the job. Um, let me see, this one should go down like in a second. I've literally been tech rifling it for a little bit of time now. Let me see actually what the health is on. Alright, one's already dropped. Right? So one's dropped, I've dropped one. I just need to drop all the rest. Where are the bags dropping though for this? Yeah, right, so it's going to take a long time. I'm not going to lie, but it's going to be worth it. That right there will shoot you. Oh, that got so much. Right. We've nearly done this whole wall here. We've got two hatch frames left. But I'm thinking... I could probably soak this now. Right, this is about to go down. There we go. Uh, I've soaked most of these heavies. There's a few turrets that are still not soaked. Um, as you just saw there, there's a few. Not too many though. Um, but the whole wall's gone from tech rifling. I was there too long. Probably like half an hour, literally pure tech rifle. Um, anyway, what I'm going to do is I'm going to attempt to try to get in there um, with a stego. Um, I don't know how this is going to go. Or throw a stego out in there, jump on it with um, a tech rifle and get the gen from there. Maybe be able to do that. It's not actually getting shot. Oh yeah. Come on. Come on. Ah, bro. I do not know what I was thinking there. I weren't med brewing up. I didn't change my flak. And there was text above me. So obviously I was going to get shot off. I didn't have a brain in that clip. Let's do it another way. Oh, that's really low on HP. Is it going to make it out? Oh, bro. Stay there, stay there. It's actually good. So I had soaked the annoying tech turrets that were shooting me. Now I had to drop about four more turrets than I was actually into the base. 
아. That's fine. That's where I need to be. That's where I need to go next time. I can do it though. That's basically. I don't know why I lagged for so long there. Literally. Like I had a 2-3 second lag spike. And it sort of cost me that run. But I do have beer. But I just cannot see anything with beer. So I'm not going to use that right now. Let me just get some grapples. Parachute. And I should be able to get my C4 back. So I don't even need to bring C4 into that. I don't think. Okay. Good flat. This is. They must have got the guys fob. They must have came online. Let's have a little flashback if you haven't already seen to show where they got my flat from. So I was PvP and these guys down below, and I got clapped in some PvP. Then these guys were trying to raid the guys that I've just raided, and they must have wiped their fob or something. Oh, bro, it's so annoying. I do want to kill them, sort of, though. Like, get rid of beds. Alright, there we go. So now, I just need to... Right, there we go. Now we're getting a tech rifle. We should just be able to go like this. Then Gem will be down. There we go. There we go. It's down. Let me. I can't even get this body right now. There we go. Uh, nice shorty, I guess. Right, let me take his shorty and kill him with his own shotgun. Finally, we've done this raid. You know what, we'll just kill him like this. There we go. Indie Forge, no metal, chem bench, bit of gunpowder, fabricator, nothing. Uh, I believe there's, yeah, there's one more guy in here. Make sure I kill him. I need them shadows bad. Uh, i take that Fabi, actually. Kill this guy. And then we've got loads of loot in here, hopefully. Heavy turret. Nice tech gen. 100 Ellie in tech gen. Refrigerator. Nice. Uh, we need all of this stuff, especially shadow steaks. I don't have any shadow steaks. Veggie cakes. Another. Oh, oh, okay. Let me drop all the empty cryopods out of here because. Uh, cryos. There we go. Drop all the empty ones. Um, that's actually good. Wait, are these domino lines? No, nah, they're not domino lines. Level 30, Quetzal, Deodons. Let's go. I needed Deodons. Believe it or not, I wanted Deodons so bad because I didn't want to go out and uh, tame them or do anything like that. Shards wise, a lot of shards, bullets, loads of bullets. Um, that's got. Oh, they're, yeah, they're gem powered them. Right, that's. First vault we have got. I need crossbow blueprint actually. Uh, Stego saddle, don't really need. We've got a good BP of that. Not much. Where's their fabricate? Oh, tech rep. There we go. This is where the rep is. Take them boots, I can sell them probably. Uh, ingots, a lot of ingots. Because they stack on 5k, obviously, that is a huge amount. Uh, you know what, just an LB that whole rep, because I need the hide in that anyway, so. I'll go, yeah, that's nice, that's good. There we go, one is balloon. What have we got in this vault? Uh, exosuit, which I'll take that because I need some exosuits. Honestly though, not much right now. I mean, it won't fat fat. I did gain profit however, so. It's all good. Um, let me, uh, middle vault, right? No, that's the vault that I've just looked in. Uh, ARB. Cryo fridge. A few tames. Bloodstalker. Not too much in that. 
Yeah, not not a terrible raid. Gain some loot, I guess. Reason why I'm in the tribe on this map is I've done a boss fight over here. Um, so yeah. Um, and whilst I was packing everything up, ready to deposit my loot at my base, I heard my turret shooting, meaning there was someone near or trying to blow up my scaffold. So let's see what he's doing down below. Oh no. There are two. I've killed someone. Just killed someone. Sure, just there we go. We just killed someone down here. Trying to trying to destroy my four by C. I actually need nets, so that's nice. Oh my god! I left a manor and a griffin on this guy. Just went back to reload because I was like, I probably forgot some stuff. And yes, I did. I'm actually going to take all this kibble too for my Daedons. Because if you didn't already know, kibble's OP with Daedons. Don't take all them veggie cakes because why not? Um, have we got another vault? We have. I knew we had some bit more of it. Right, let's, let's see. I'm not leaving nothing. I knew, like, I just didn't loot this properly. One. There we go. What we got in here? Absolutely nothing. I'll take that for my, um, daddy stuff. So, I thought that was actually a decent raid loot-wise. I didn't get too, too much, but I definitely gained a lot of profit from it. So, I was happy either way. Just when you thought the raiding might stop, we've got another fat raid for you. This one, it was in the Arctic, and to be honest, is a quite an easy one. All I have to do is scaffold a little bit, soak a few turrets, and I was basically in. I don't know how these guys didn't have tech tier, but they had a replicator and a transmitter. Uh, but yeah, let's see what loot they're going to have. How many am I getting shot by? I can't even see the turrets that I'm getting shot by. I'm only getting shot by two, and I'm, ta I'm, s mm, I'm taking so much damage. Bro, they don't have any <laughs> turrets, bro. <laughs> I've literally just sold two I'm turrets in like five, ten minutes. No, this five, no, like probably... two minutes. Alright. And they go deeper. Alright, maybe not. Where is it set, Jen? I should have probably bring a spyglass up. Would have definitely been a better idea. There we go. The whole base is down. Ah, there we go. What we got in him? Um, not much to be honest. Tech Reppy. Nice. Um, oh, that's not the rep. <laughs> this is the rep. Some element. We'll definitely take that. Some more ingots. Nice. Uh, some blueprints that are pretty mid. I'm not going to lie. Uh, cement and paste. A little bit more Ellie. Ellie dust. Ellie dust is useful. Very useful. So I'm going to take that. We've got a refrigerator here. Just full of some med brews. Got a cryo fridge that I can break. It says FFA on it. Oh no, that's their charm name. Uh, a few cryos. Nothing great, I don't think. Uh, Velos, obviously. I can break all of this down. What we got in here? Loads of, loads of gunpowder, to be honest. Um, oh yeah, loads of compoler. We've also got the mannequins. Right, first mannequin. Sort of got a kit. Someone's calling me. My mom's calling me. Hold up. Yeah, scrambled egg and toast, please. Thank you. Bye bye. Right, uh, did a loot. Uh, nothing in that first mannequin there. Uh, nothing in the second mannequin. Just junk, really. Um, third, nothing. Fourth, nothing. Uh, we've got mana, sort of like a kit. 
I'm gonna see how much uh, metal's in here. Right, I'm not here to bore you. They didn't really have much. This was probably the worst raid so far. But don't worry, we've got another raid now. Um, and this one is gonna be fat, hopefully. So I actually had to bust out a skiff for this one because their first generator was actually just a normal generator and their cables and the main generator was exposed. So I can literally just flame arrow it and then get the first chandelier off like that. And then they had another line of defense. Up again. I need one more hit and it's all down. That's down. Right, there we go. That whole cliff plat's already down. Turn my DPI back up. Right. Let me have a look at this now. How many turrets we got? We've got quite a few turrets, but I'm pretty sure I could just go underneath that for out a stego and see what I can do from there. So I'm going to attempt doing that. Now I need to find an angle to throw out a stego. Shouldn't it be too difficult? Nah, it's not difficult at all. Do we have cardboard setters? I don't think so. Only problem is... Is I'm probably gonna get shot loads. It's fun. Alright, there we go. This stego is probably gonna die. Assault? Or have I just LOS'd it? I don't know. I'm only just getting shot by one now. Yeah. Alright, I should just be able to grab a bit up here. Hopefully there's no internals. I didn't even check. Um so we've got two sleeping guys here. Both naked with some cardboards in them. Dead. Okay. Don't we just love this sometimes? Like, when you try to kill logged out people in a base. Oh, they're already dead. <laughs> Almost already dead, right? Don't worry, don't mind me. I'm a bozo at like this game half the time. Right, that's down. Now we break this. And we break beesh. See what loot we got. Fabricator, bit of polymer, hard pulley. They're crafting hard pulley in here. Okay, <laughs> not looking good. All right, bit of crystal, bit of electronics, bit more mats. Twelve C four, made profit from that already. Uh, we've got gunpowder, we've got cement in place. Our resources are so stacked right now. Like, I'm taking all this hide because hide's just one of them that's just annoying to farm. Ah, uh, these old chem benches. Let's look in mannequins. What's in this? Oh, refrigerator, actually. Nice. Right, let's look in the cryo fridge, actually. See if we've got any any nice stuff in here. Which, I'm sure there will be. It's gonna drop, though. Let's drop to here. Cryo fridge. We got the new tame. Oh, Nice. I want to try this thing out. Like, I have never actually used one yet. It's weird. Bit of empty cryopods. That's actually kind of good for now. Uh, what have we got? We've got some stalkers down here. They had so many mannequins. I don't know why they've had... There's another two here. If these are stacked with loot, it's actually going to be very profitable. If they're not, I reckon that half of them won't even be anything in. Yeah. What'd I say? What'd I say? Oh... Yep. There we go. I was getting a bit scared there. I was wondering if all of them didn't have anything in. But 56 rockets? Nice. You know what? I'm taking all of that. That's going to go all in my daddy boxes. Uh, saddles. Yeah, not much. To be honest, a fat little raid there. If I keep up doing these raids... I'm going to get so much profit. I mean, I've already got so much profit from these. But just the smaller type ones that take 10, 20, maybe even 30 minutes. And you're getting this kind of loot. It's good. Let's see how much ingots we've got in here. Alright, how much metal. Oh, they've, they've actually been on recently. 
got so much metal in here though because it stacks in 5k that's actually a lot of metal so overall that was a nice little raid once again how many raids have we done this video it's actually getting complicated now because all i've been doing is steamrolling bases right lads so i'm probably just gonna quit the server right now um i've raided most bases and my server gb7 xgos is wiping today so yeah i'm i'm probably not gonna be playing you never know i might hop on and do some more raids but i just want to edit right now and do stuff like that but we're so fat it's actually unbelievable obviously we did get meshed out of the rattle and i didn't want to quit there and we've got loads of other stuff now uh so yeah that's really good the teddies are so so stacked um pretty fat uh, obviously blueprints everything's just fat um so yeah it's actually been a very successful solo wipe for my opinion because um we've probably got about six episodes here um i'm looking at the content i haven't edited one episode yet so i do actually not know um but yeah so sadly that is going to be the end of today's video i really do hope you enjoyed the video and if you haven't made this far into the video please put g23 in the comments and know how i made this far which honestly means more than anything anyway guys have an amazing rest of the day or night wherever you are in the world and i'll see you guys in the next video